Personally, you were sort of you were sort of thrust into a situation where yourself and your previous boyfriend were all over the place. Was that? Was, yeah. I mean, was that is that a tough thing to deal with? It was awkward because it was not really something that I'd ever felt that I'd caught it. So it was kind of weird getting to that thing where there's like 40 Italian uh, Blur fans camping outside your front door for an entire summer, and um, people from tabloids stealing our rubbish and stuff. And it did it just scared the shit out of me really. It's over. We were together for a long time, and then uh, he decides to write all about it in his, in his yeah. album. Yeah, yeah. Why did he do that? Um, I think it was actually a very positive thing, because I think he sort of turned what might have been very negative feelings into something positive. You know, he made songs out of that. And I think songwriting is often kind of therapy, so that kind of makes sense to me. Come on, come on, come on. Do you think he was maybe trying to get you back by sort of like a kind of? Uh, See, that's the romantic <laughs> side of me would suggest that there's this kind of a call to you know let's let's. It was, it was quite an odd thing hearing a song like Tender on the radio, you know, and I guess it was quite romantic, really. It's quite a romantic gesture. Did you cry when you heard it? On the I radio? did a couple of times. Mm. I've missed it now. Is it true that you have a new boyfriend? We've read this in the newspapers. It may be true. What's he like? He's lovely, is, super cool. Is he a musician? No, God forbid. You never date another musician? No, I've had it with boys and bands. Really <laughs> <laughs>